today on Sailing Joy. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. And as we start our third season here on Joy, exploring the Adriatic Sea and island hopping for the next six months, we were surprised by receiving an offer to buy Joy. So we thought, is it time to sell Joy and move on to new adventures? So now it's gonna be raining for probably seven to eight days. So it's, we're only gonna have maybe a week to get ready uh, without rain. We have started already like a month ago, so we started like polishing the boat and doing a lot of things. So we're excited because we're ready, ready to go uh, and uh, start our new season. Let me see if you can guess what is the first task of the day. Fill up those two gas containers that hopefully will last for the entire season. Here in Montenegro, like the rest of the European countries, I could not find a store that I would simply exchange the empty ones for the full ones. So I need to get it refilled at the gas station. Yes. Yes. Way, we decided to quickly stop at Lustica Bay, not far from Porto Montenegro where we are, to check it out as we had a car for the entire day. Lustica Bay is full of pretty little houses and also have a small marina there, which we did not feel it was super protected. I cannot imagine catching that strong 100 knots wind here. We're back, and when getting ready to a new season, it takes so many trips to the supermarket, stores, and so on, in order to have all the provisions to last a while. After all, where we are headed in Croatia, supermarkets are very limited, and I've heard they're pretty expensive. And before we continue on to get Joy ready to depart, I wanted to say a big thanks for today's video sponsor, AG1, a daily foundation nutrition supplement that supports whole body health. It has been already two years that we've been traveling non-stop aboard Joy. You already may know that, but Patricia and I are super stoked about AG1 and how it supports our immune system, that we take it every day. We also love to have access to the travel package from AG1, so we can take it on the road whenever we are not traveling with Joy. But whenever we are here at Joy, we have our jar and shaker with us. Just one scoop contains 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients, prebiotics, probiotics, and the list goes on. In summary, pretty much all things we were not getting on our diets went out here in the ocean. Whether we're sailing on joy on the Adriatic Sea, Mediterranean Sea, AG1 is the easiest part of our daily routine, making a huge Thank difference you. in our health, boosting our overall energy levels. And now we're getting a full spectrum of vitamins and minerals that support our immune system that we can miss on our diet. So let me make it easier for you to try AGN for yourself. Head to my link in the description below to get a one year supply of AG vitamin D3 plus K2 plus five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase of AG1. Só que vocês não sabem da maior. Comprei esse microfone para encher o saco do Duda, sabe? Porque eu adoro perturbar ele. Só que daí ele gosta mais do microfone do que eu. Aí eu comprei um para ele hoje. Ó. Ó, escândalo. The Bluetooth device is really too pale. Oi. Oi, pessoal. Agora eu vou. E aí? Preparado? Eu acho que esse ano eu não vou enjoar. Será? É. <risos> Tudo certo? Tudo certo, tá resolvido. 
E agora me conta como está o seu coraçãozinho para essa temporada. Tá perfeita. <risos> Tava na hora já de sair daqui pra começar a temporada, né? Só chovia, olha, frio. Então agora a gente vai começar a temporada. Here the living area, it is almost all ready. Just need to remove the TV and store it, as it can fall during sailing. Patricia decided to use the table cover. She got in Portugal when we sailed through there. As last night we were watching our past videos, when we bought Joy, and we got a little bit nostalgic. Bought so much fruit, but we know it's not gonna last very long. Now, all we left to do is to wash all the dishes from breakfast and organize the mess that we have outside. And we're ready to go. Now, this season, Patricia decided to grow strawberries aboard Joy, as sometimes it's so difficult to buy fresh fruits when cruising. So she's making all types of researches online so she won't kill the poor things in the first week. Agora vamos nós fazer o que precisa ser feito para sair do país. Há um monte de burocracia e o Duda vai explicar porque eu não sei como funciona. Ele sabe tudo. In order to leave Montenegro, we first need to walk to the police station with all of our documents and let them know what time you're planning to leave. This can be done usually within 24 hours of departure. If everything is fine with the police, you can then move your boat from the marina to the immigration dock, which is right beside where we are. Once you get to the immigration office with your boat, you need to show that you have cleared access with the local police, show that you pay the tourist taxes and the vignette for the boat. Then show the passports to get stamped out. If all is accepted, only then you're authorized to sail from Montenegro. So let's see how it goes for Joy tomorrow. Now, when you get to Croatia, you need to do everything but backwards. Go to the police, immigration customs office, tourist office, pay all necessary fees and sometimes even get the boat searched so customs can make sure you're not bringing anything that is not allowed into the country. Uh -huh. yeah. We will probably miss being Montenegro, although it is a place that the weather have not been the greatest during the winter time. Porto Montenegro is definitely a first world marina, with hotels, restaurants, nice stores, you name it. Tchau pro Porto Montenegro. Let's check on all buildings to see if there's some water and recheck our through holes. All good here. Não, e o pior de tudo que vocês não sabem, eu perdi acho que umas 3, 4 horas pra organizar tudo bonitinho e certinho. Ah, mas eu tô indignada. Patricia was very disappointed at herself as she spent a full day preparing all of the meats in portions for us to eat in the future, just to find out that customs in Croatia would not allow us to enter the country with any meat, cheese or wine. As we plan to depart very early tomorrow morning, I will leave all the mooring lines ready to be untied and that way we can do everything from inside of joy. It's now five o'clock in the morning, and we are more than excited to depart to Montenegro. I'm always a bit tense and apprehensive when departing port to a new country, especially after sitting in the marina for six months. Patricia wanted to make things lighter and easier, and this is how she felt it could help. Good day, senhores e senhoras. In 10 minutos, Catamaran Joy irá soltar as suas amarras. Todos a bordo em cinco minutos, por favor. Estou falando baixo porque as pessoas ao lado ainda estão dormindo. Que são seis horas da manhã, apesar de estar super claro o dia. E chegou a hora, hora de partir para o verão. The time have arrived. We celebrate as we depart, as we realize how fortunate we are to be able to experience all of this aboard Joy. Yeah. 
Well, first we will untie the port side marine line. Then move to the starboard side and untie the line there, following the port aft line. And last, the starboard aft line. Got it? And from up here, I keep my eyes on the monitor to see how Patricia is doing and when she's done tying all the lines. Come on, move to the other side here. Where are you? Here we go. So <laughs> Great job, Patricia. We are free and ready to slowly move from the dock. With mixed feelings, we both quietly watched around as we slowly moved through the glassy waters inside of the Merida to stop next door at the immigration's office. arrived at 6.30 here at customs so we could clear customs and leave Montenegro but it looks like the customs office was still asleep and it's uh, 7.20 now and they're still asleep so we're waiting for 45 minutes 50 minutes already you know no sign of them so we're gonna be waiting until they arrive here so they can stamp our passports and we can go to Croatia uh, to Croatia is gonna take us probably about seven hours to go there we're gonna clear customs and enter Croatia in Dubrovnik uh, there was another port that we could do that before but they closed so we have to go to uh, Dubrovnik and do that so I think it's pretty uh, straightforward over there crossing my fingers after that we'll go to an anchorage and uh, we're gonna be in Croatia and the idea this season is uh, to spend probably three months in Croatia we're gonna go all the way here from Montenegro uh, explore Croatia uh, to the best of our ability and get to Italy yes and we commemorated as the immigration officers arrived so we could get going Fly up in the sky, a place we could try, girl. Yeah, you know that 
We are now right on the border from Montenegro and Croatia, as you can see here on the chart. E agora estamos oficialmente em águas croatas. Vamos vento. Luta aí, ó. O vento miou a nossa vela mestra. Tendo tudo, de novela, não tá nem aí com nada. Eu acho que agora é hora de acionar a Jennifer. O nome dela é Jennifer. Eu conheci ela no Tinder. <risos> ele não sabe a música da Jennifer. Ah, eu vou ter que colocar aqui na Joy para ele ouvir bem alto. Pera aí, vamos lá então. Ligar o sol. Como que escreve mesmo? Não. Gabriel Diniz, né? Cantado. Tudo bom, Tia? Chegou a hora da cerimônia de troca de bandeira de Montenegro para a Croácia. Tem que colocar a bandeirinha amarela também quando você chegar num país novo. Então a gente vai colocar as duas. Do Dali não está tirando. A bandeira. As we got closer to the Croatian coast, the weather got worse and it started to rain a bit. We're not very far from Dubrovnik where we're gonna do the check-in in Croatia. Clouds are all black over there as well. So we're now crossing our fingers that the weather doesn't get worse and start to heavy rain on us. I could see on a distance Dubrovnik's old town where we had the chance to visit by land a couple of months ago. It 
is a stunning place with so much history to see. Final stretch to get to Croatia and clear customs. I call them on the radio ring. Bom, e enquanto o Duda vai parar a Joy, minha missão, defensas e jogar os cabos e amarrar a Joy. As I focus in docking Joy in customs, Patricia went on deck to set all of the lines and fenders, so we would be ready to set foot in Croatia. And as we start our third season here on Joy, Exploring the Adriatic Sea and island hopping for the next six months, we were surprised by receiving an offer to buy Joy. So we thought, is it time to sell Joy and move on to new adventures? It feels like yesterday that we're packing our bags to move into Joy and sail away. It has been almost 10,000 nautical miles, but who's counting? We had good and bad times along the way. But the most important thing, we have strengthened our relationship even farther, created everlasting memories and made so many friends along the way. As we were getting ready to depart port, we received an offer to sell Joy, which to say the least was extremely tempting. As everybody knows, the timelines to buy a new boat nowadays is extremely long, making the used boat market very hot. Now if we sold Joy, we would probably make money, but we would have to buy another boat or consider another type of adventure. We thought for days and we could not make our minds. We took so much care of Joy along those years and of course solved pretty much all of the initial issues that you have on a new boat. And now that things have come down a little, we would sell Joy. So we decided to decline the offer. But that made us think on how we can do things a little bit different here. And we felt that being aboard Joy for 12 months straight was getting a little bit old and sometimes stressful. So we have decided to create a new project for ourselves so we can continue to travel and explore the world non-stop. We made a decision to build an exploration vehicle that can take us to very remote places that Joy sometimes cannot. The plan is to build the truck in the next year and a half. Once it's ready, we're gonna split our time between Joy and the new truck. Spend six months out of the year on the truck. Every time that Joy goes into the marina in the winter time that we cannot sail, we're simply gonna get the truck and explore places like the North Pole, Africa and Patagonia. We're super excited to continue to do what we love and enhance our abilities to travel even farther now. We wanted to thank you for being with us all of these years aboard Joy and we will continue to bring you along on our adventures. See you on the next video.